Welcome to Clona Conversations, where we speak about life issues, the nitty gritties, the issues that are so dear to our hearts, and more, we aim to inspire you and empower you to be more, and to conquer those situations and issues that seem like gowe kagwachi itamu. So, today I am hosting the beautiful and lovely Clona. She is Nantai Lois Kisamba, aka Clona. She is married to one handsome man, the one and only Mr. Kisamba. She is a mother of three beautiful children. She is a statistician. She is a woman of God. Mosumba, And today I'm hosting her concerning a very sensitive issue. And we hope that our interview and our video today will help someone out there who's going through the same situation to let you know that you can face it, you can conquer it, and you are not alone. Clona. Hi, my dear. Hi. By the way, I told you guys, that? I call her my big sister. So today, it's the little sister interviewing the big, big sister. sister. Hi. How are you? Good, good. How is everything? I'm happy to sit in the opposite <laughs> seat. Only then I could be boozled in the orchard. I mean, now, otherwise, how are you? I'm good. How Life the, is good. How are the beautiful children? They are good, growing, we can go, they are growing into power, mighty, yeah. That is good. How is Clona Cleaning? I have not told you guys she's an entrepreneur and she's the CEO. Clona Cleaning, an interior company. Yeah. You're not. The same way, Angela, because normally she's, those that know Clona, whenever she's introducing someone, she says, her. I am only left with saying she has money, she dresses well, she... Yeah, I mean, she's a big spender. She's always on vacations and everything. So, Nyabo, you're not with Jambiba Gamba. Alimba, that's not true. Alimba, Alimba. Anyway, I'm happy to be hosted. Yes, okay. the business is doing well. Mm. The business name is called Clona Group because we do so many things, including mm. Clona Conversation is part of the group. Okay. But we also do cleaning, fumigation, and interior designing, minor interior designing. Yeah. Okay, that's beautiful. So today I want to talk about a very sensitive issue, but what's that? But mm. more, we want to inspire anyone or a mother going through that situation mm. and to encourage and empower them that you know what they can conquer this mm -hmm. and they are not alone. Mm. And also, you keep telling me that don't use your life as an example. Everything that you are facing in life, mm. there's someone who has actually gone, gone through, through it. it. Yeah. There's nothing new under the sun. So in case you're going through any situation, mm. you're going through something today mm. and you're watching this interview, please know that you're not alone and there's nothing new under the sun. You will get through it. So, you have an autistic son. Mm -hmm. He's making... 14. 14 years yeah. this year. Wow, that's very incredible. And we want to speak about the journey briefly today mm -hmm. of how the journey has been, how you have, you know, been able to go through these 14 years, how the journey has been like. So I'm going to start by asking you. So uh, I understand Glenn was a honeymoon baby. <laughs> so nine I months thought. after your wedding, you get pregnant. I get give birth. And you give birth. Yes. So you give birth to Glenn. How was he the, his first year? Was he a normal baby? Did you get to notice it? How was how was it his his first year? Well, yes, uh, I have a son. My first son turned out to be autistic, and of course, it was it was my first time to hear about the word autism. I remember. When my husband came and told me I'm from hospital and they have said our son is autistic, I went to Google and I'm like, autism, what's it about? It was my first time to even hear the word. I even asked for the spelling, yeah. So, growing up, first of all, Glenn was a planned, planned, actual planned baby. True. I get married. Mm. My introduction was in April and my wedding was in August. Yes. And I gave birth exactly nine months after. And it was intended, it was planned, that's what we wanted, we prayed about it, we wanted a firstborn to be a boy. I remember my husband telling me I want my first boy to be a boy, he was a boy, basically he was a planned child. child. Now because of that, I had everything I needed. I was working, I had enough resources, I had books, I knew, first of all I had pregnancy books. 
so I would monitor my pregnancy. Wow. Week one, mm -hmm. you should feel like it's week two, week 27, wow. you should feel like it's... Remember you are in the, no, not yeah, these yeah, things yeah, of just yeah, yeah. pregnant for... No, 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 And then no, you, no. oh no, it's coming on, I'm not going to tell you, I missed my periods and yeah. all that. No, 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 no. When I missed my periods, I was like, yeah, we missed the period. First scan, exactly, like mm. everything was planned because I was fully wedded, mm. I was working. I, I had know that car feeling, but yeah. nah. You yeah. know that car feeling from where you are. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just can't imagine that like Kwe Gamba, eh, everything two is moving as planned. Plan. Like you are, you are the, yeah. you're officially wedded, you don't have to, like, to hide. Yes. Yeah, just manage yes. Yes. By the way, I'm officially wedded. I just yeah. don't wear a ring. I said, I'll tell you that conversation some other time when I host my husband. But, yes, yeah, so... I monitored my pregnancy from week one. I remember I had a book. Mm -hmm. I had two books for pregnancy and two books for uh, newborns. Yeah, after So that. I would monitor week one, week two, week three. I knew exactly what was happening, what is developing, what I need mm -hmm. to eat, that this week the legs are forming, the, the bones are forming, mm -hmm. the eyes. Now the baby is turning. Now I knew everything, like I would read everything. I knew what was happening. So nothing was surprising me. So I gave birth to a very healthy baby. I gave birth to a natural birth mm. in Zambia Hospital. Very healthy baby, very, healthy. very cute. Very lovely. I've very seen his lovely. pictures. My God, he, he was, he was so, so cute. cute. Very cute. Mm. Yeah, so we moved the journey. Month one, he was hitting all his milestones very, very, very well. well. I remember I had a cousin. Kudos to Jess. She stays in UK and she had given birth before me. So she would mm. tell me, this week you should tell, check for this. This week you should, because I think in UK, their infant monitoring is better. Mm. So she would tell me, this week you should do this. This week you should not eat this. She would tell me, your baby should not eat sugar, should not eat salt. Your baby should do exclusive breastfeeding. So I did exclusive mm. breastfeeding. Basically, everything was as planned. Mm. And we're doing our milestones so well. He was such a lovely baby. Then I get pregnant. So, are you, okay, you get yeah. pregnant again. So what was the trigger? That one thing, now he's hitting his milestones well. Yes. What was the trigger that made you feel like, you know what, maybe we should uh, go to a doctor and have our son checked? Mm. What was the trigger for you? Well, uh, I get pregnant. I think I got pregnant nine months after. It was okay. quick, but it mm. was still planned. Mm. I planned to give birth very, I wanted to give birth before 30. Okay. So mm. I can have the life of a party. Sure, sure, sure. In fact, I remember we had agreed with my husband to give birth first, so we, give, we, we, we grow with our children. Mm. When yeah. we are like 40 something, they're like 18. Yeah, they're like so 18, that was sure. the plan. We wanted to give birth quickly, go back mm. to life and enjoy. Yeah. So I give, get pregnant and I that time when I'm pregnant, my son starts deteriorating. He loses too mm. much weight. He starts getting very sick all the time we're in hospital. He's not sleeping well. He's not eating well. Ah! And I was looking for the best of the best doctors. Yeah, sure. Remember, I have read. I everything, knew everything. Everything. No. And I had raised people's children. Mm. I had raised my, my, I had raised my cousins. So I knew something like I knew that at this time they do this at this time so something that triggered me he would not respond to his name he would sometimes but not all the time and then it kept disappearing like we reached a point when he was not really responding he wasn't eating well he would wake up every night and cry I am very godly prayerful mm, yeah. I was praying but remember I was pregnant yeah sure mm. so a long life people would tell me, man, I know, go oh, see, I just tell you that you're pregnant. Mm. It's because you're pregnant that is, that's how He's he is. Like that. So I give birth. A month after, this guy is not getting any better. In fact, he's getting worse, wow. worse and worse. Mm. Now I have two babies. One, Gassimo mm. So this one time my husband said, let him tell him, do I? I actually first asked a pediatrician. Mm. And she said, mm, I think he's autistic, but... I don't want to conclude. Mm. Let's see someone else. So, so at that point, they are telling you, I think he's autistic. I don't want to conclude <coughs> what is coming into you. Over now, watch the cow and you're like, ah, such a like tool. First of all, I had never had or even mm. seen anyone with autism. So I, I didn't even know what they are talking about. Maybe the cow. And, and also, you know, these things of how we be so prayerful and you're like, no, yeah. it can't be me. It can't be me. 
yeah. yeah so it was that feeling of like ah dump mm, true so i dump but during that time when i'm maternity leave my husband takes him to hospital and he finds out that he's autistic so he comes and tells me they say that son is autistic i didn't understand even what mm. it means so i google and it has the first thing was it has no cure it has no cause it has no cure it's like it is something mm. that it's as if it's there. a wind or something mm. just chooses yeah like what is this i didn't know that i was heading for a battle i didn't know that i have to dress up for war so along the way we started seeking help now let's first first things forward like now your husband goes to hospital alone mm. he comes back home how does he break the news to you that now this is it's fine no, our son is autistic were you seated in a chair were you sleeping no, I was in the bedroom i think i remember it was even a weekend he came back and told me they've told me he's autistic so we need to do a, a, a spectrum test and know how he is on the spectrum that's when you know whether he's a one two or three or severe mild and yeah mm. moderate so we needed to see another doctor to do that test mm. and i think he went and saw some doctor in bugolovi who measured him and said he was severe on the spectrum he was wow. nod nodding his head doing mm. routines he would spin and now at this point the beautiful all looking mm, had yes now he had lost too much weight it was sad it would feel sad i would cry to bed and wake up crying i just i could first of all i had denial mm. i could not believe that my son is is like that i kept on declining his report shall i believe i'll believe mm. the report of the word when god I gives know. us a gift he gives I us a perfect gift, gift. My son cannot be known. I bear this son in holy marriage. marriage. I, I prayed about my God. children. I prayed before, about my children. Yes. I understand. So, and I had really prayed about my children. Mm. I remember at campus uh, in first year, from first year I prayed for my children. Mm. Everything about them, their maids, their food, their schools. Like, so I could not understand why it was hard. It was so hard. I remember crying. Remember my sister talking to me, my mom talking to me. Yeah, some talks would make it mm. worse, some talks would make, make it, it better. better. I first of all at that time it was very hard to find a parent with an autistic exactly. child. Exactly. So at least somehow you would meet a parent with an autistic no. child. Did you meet any at that time? No, actually oh, I dear. don't remember meeting any at that time. It looked like you're in an mm. island alone, alone. suffering your own and asking problems. yourself very many questions. Why have I been chosen, chosen to, to be, be in this particular world alone? You know, there's strength when you know that there are, there are others. others in the island. But yeah. now knowing somehow in the circles where mm. you are, it's only you and your asking yourself a lot of questions and everything yeah the questions were many there were really many why my first fruit what mm. i prayed for my son i remember actually uh, watching a documentary what there was spiritual and they said before i gave birth they said when you're giving birth that's when the baby is coming out picking the soul connecting to the body you need to pray if you can or the people around you so i was a natural birth mm. i prayed in the moment when my son like mm. that I moment when he was yes i declared like that mm. despite the pain I you had to tired it. Be, be. i prayed mm. i prayed for my son i prayed for his soul i declared i put him in the hands of god i called angels mm. i you know yeah so when i find out that he was autistic i'm like okay now god i don't understand this god mm. come sit co here yeah. and we have a conversation pay. let us reason this together mm. and over the years years passed he was deteriorating he made two he made three it was getting worse and worse yes he was getting worse two three four five man it was bad he wasn't using the potty well he would sleep wickedly he would scream he would shout he would hit the head he would spin he would not eat he was sick all the time he would be in hospital yes now remember i have two babies mm. so all the time in hospital i remember i remember and i was very busy that was the, almost the peak of my career mm. so i'm um, really like i'm getting promotions at work i'm traveling mm. a lot i'm always out of the country and yet my son is not well so Let's have a short commercial break and we are at Canary Hotel, Bukoto, where you can have all your
spicy birthday parties, everything beautiful, everything lovely at Canary Hotel. And we also have Canary Gardens. This is where we are hosting the Corona Conversations show. Let's come back shortly. Then we speak. We talk about uh, the supportiveness of her partner throughout the whole journey and how you can conquer this and how the journey is and how she has been able to move this journey. And I, But I would call it conquering because, I mean, you have already conquered. Sure. The fact that he's 14 years and we are strong and standing. I know Glenn. I have been his personal photographer for the past mm -hmm. four or five years. Yes. And we are doing good and doing well. So let's, we shall be right back. Obulamu obwe ya gaza butandika na makama yoyo toburunji. Tukilize jiloto chokwezi mbire nyumba na feku zek systems. Tukulete de birds view estate kavule. Protiza fence ava atenga sente ntono nyo. Kumilion kumina tano zoka wefu nire poloti e atano kuchukumi. Poloti za fenteke teke burunji kubanga amazi na amasanyalaze webiri. Bad's View Estate Kavule, esangi waku Semuto Road, kilomita munana, okuve matuga. Ati ulira chino, enza sula ya mpola mpola. Tulina neporoti mubi tundu webidala, ngabu gema kumidion kumina muenda. Dundu, milion abire musatu, na mayumba milion munana, nebu sika milion kumina musambu. Tukubile ko, obatu chari reku office za fe, ema tugane kampala. Zek Systems, kuluwe nkula kula na yo. Welcome back to Klona Conversations, where we talk about all life issues, the nitty gritties, the issues that are dear to our hearts to inspire and empower you to be more. So, Klona, I wanted, to, wanted us to talk about uh, how your husband was supportive through this whole journey. Because when they give birth to autistic children, their husbands leave them. <laughs> these, these men of this, of this generation, no, I don't know even how men are, but... Mm. So how, how was your husband supportive in this whole journey? Well, I think even supportive is an underestimate. Like, uh, I can't even explain it. Because first of all, his owner suggested that I think we need to seek professional guidance okay. on this. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he was the first to take the child to hospital to get a confirmation that he's autistic. Then when he came back, of course, he googled, checked, and then mm -hmm. he had his opinion on what is happening. He didn't judge me. I've, had, I've seen so many women who, who were their white husbands judge them, mm -hmm. thinking it was your problem. Mm -hmm. I think it's your the genes. This is non-generic, but also mm -hmm. generally in special needs children in general, Down syndrome, children that have axlesia, different forms mm -hmm. of disabilities and special needs. And unfortunately, autism is not a disabl disability. disability. It mm. is a different way of growing. It is like normal people do this. I don't mm -hmm. do it that way. Normal people shower once, I shower three times because I don't like the feeling of sweat. Mm -hmm. It's like how they think they do is totally different. And they tend to have an, a mature brain than their mm -hmm. age. That affects their way of doing things. They are very mm -hmm. strong in mental. When they focus on something, they reason it different when they are looking at you. They're not just looking at Aunt Val. They're looking at Aunt Val last time she had white lips now. She has read. They are analyzing you. They are seeing mm. how your kasiga is not balancing. So when we learned that, we realized that we can conquer this. But also, my husband is, was very supportive financially. Like I said, I was, very, mm. I was traveling all the time. Mm. At that time, my career was at the peak, mm. as in a, in a high position. Well, good, getting good money, but also requires a lot. So at a given point, I needed to have like three three house helpers oh because I had babies mm. he needed the help mm. of his own I needed someone who does the housework then I also had another baby so at a given point we had like three helpers three in the house, house. Helps in the house. Yes. Wow. and he was helping financially mm. he accommodated us mm. he would understand their nights when he would wake up in the night the baby would wake up in the night and then I have a baby so he would mm. man the other one yeah. as I man this one mm. he's been very 
I can't even say supportive, but God sent. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's beautiful. We thank you so much, Mwami Chisamba. Thank you so much. You've made this journey. Thank you so much for making if this journey. If they say, like, mm. I usually tell people, like, we, for example, we celebrate Father's Day. Mm. Yeah, right. Everyone celebrates Father's Day. Mm, yeah. To us, it's a different mm. case. Yes. We need to celebrate him in a very different special way. way. Yes. And I applaud you for that. You've been celebrating Mami Samba over the years really? on Happy Father's Day. Yes. Bambi, Mami Samba now watch Mani Jodi. So we thank God for the support of, of uh, for the gift of a supportive husband yes. through that journey. But also the, the, other, the other large family, mm. like my parents, mm. his parents, yeah. my siblings, his mm. siblings, they, they have been very, very supportive. Anyone who would hear anything mm. would call, I heard this. There's someone yeah. advertising this. I remember there's a, 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 my sister in called Nakato. She, I don't know, I think she worked somewhere and they were building a, hosp mm. uh, a hospital for autistic children. She called me immediately, can you come and check this out? Like mm. people were really helping. helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, so. we, we, we want also to take this moment and time and request family members, close mm. family members, mm. both on the mother's side and the father's side. In case you have anyone that you know that has an autistic child, please support them. Please check in on them, call them, mm -hmm. see how they are doing, especially if the child is still at an early stage. Infant. It's new to them, they are still in the infant stage. Please check on them, support them in, elder, in any way possible. Don't gossip, don't start mm -hmm. talking about things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Those, those quotes and those things that will, uh, will hurt them and bring more pain to their hearts. Please mm. be supportive. Yes. Mm. So I thank also my like family. They've been very helpful, my friends. But also, okay, I think also this is the time for, it was a time for me to see how people really care about you. Because before you get a problem, you can't mm. know how people care. But this really, really helped so much. And also the support of the siblings. They eventually grew. Mm. They had questions at the beginning. Why is he like that? Why can't he? Like that? Because mm. he doesn't have speech clearly. Yeah. But and then he's so good in whatever he's so good in. For example, like mm. like the the things he does, he does them so perfectly. Mm. And I don't struggle with, with him. Mm. So I kept telling them, why aren't you like your brother? Mm. He doesn't stress in me in mm. this. So he's so good in what he is. And then in some places he's not. But the siblings have really been so supportive. supportive. Big up to Crystal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now, uh, how have you managed to conquer this whole yeah. journey and this whole time? Because I mean, he's 14. That's a very um, amazing thing. Mm, he, so yeah, tell yeah. us about the conquest. So that we're a mother out there who has their autistic child is encouraged mm. and inspired and to also have some tips for them of how to conquer the journey and not be left behind. You know, sometimes in life, you normally tell me when life gives you lemons, lemons you, you give lemonade. lemonade. Yeah. So, so that they are not held back in their life because they mm -hmm. had an autistic child. Mm. So. so first of all, this journey begins with the best doctor, my pediatrician, Dr. Lena from LifeLink Medical Center. When, she, when, when I am a very strong, thick skinned person, yeah. Okay, I come out naughty, but mm -hmm. I am known. So in such times, my hard skin comes up. She, she tells me, your son is autistic. And I'm like, okay, how do I manage this? What stories are being a medic? She mm -hmm. had heard and seen and knows. She told me, people outgrow autism. You find mm -hmm. someone who has autistic, and they outgrow now. They are normal, very normal people. Mm -hmm. So for st from the beginning, I knew there was there is hope. There is hope of for us oh, outgrowing. Yes, so mm -hmm. I, I walked this journey with, with hope, hope that one Tip day number one, we yes. will outgrow. Mm -hmm. So that was very hopeful. And then she told me because they outgrow, treat your ch child as normal as possible. Mm. Do not treat him special in mm. any way. Unfortunately, mine was the first, so I could not compare. But if you have a child and you have other children, what they did at three years, make sure your three-year-old autistic child does. does it as well. Yes, it mm. is not going to be easy, patience and all that, but mm. make sure that you treat your child as normal as possible. Thank you so much, Dr. Lena. That worked very well. Because my son, 
is literally normal mm. until I tell you that, that he's is autistic. Sure. You can't tell mm. because I've treated him normal. Mm. She also told me that how you treat him is how the world will treat him. If you hide him, people say, mm. hey, that woman, she has a child. Mm. If you expose him, that is how people will treat we'll him. Treat him. Yes. And I've seen it work. Exactly. I walk with him everywhere. Yeah. We mm. travel with him. That's we go we everywhere in church. You mm. can't even tell. It's just like when mm. you're seated in church and maybe he's sitting, mm. you're standing and he's sitting, and someone says, Your man, I'm gonna buy me cousins. Mm. And you're like, No, well, maybe he doesn't talk mm. or something. But before that, you can't tell. Yeah. Because I mean, I've also come, I came into your life around six, seven years back. Yes. and. I've known Glenn, we move with him everywhere, yes. and he's part of you, yes. he's part of the family, everyone has, get to, has come to accept it's him and love him and yes. know him, so yes. if you have an autistic child out there, kindly please don't, don't leave him behind closed doors, don't leave him in the dark, expose him to the world, expose him to go with him in places, it may be challenging at the start, mm. but as time moves on, like how they conquer a tree, oh, mm. katono, pola. katono. Definitely and then, like, like Dr. Lina told me, they outgrow. Mm. So they are things he has outgrown completely. Mm. Like nice. their behaviors we don't see mm. anymore. And then also with time, even him, he starts to realize, oh, we are in church. I can't mm. shout. Oh, okay, now this is a restaurant. Mm. Okay, now he knows, okay, I can go to the bathroom. Okay, mm. mommy needs me to do like this. Mm. Okay, this is our car. You know, like mm. he gets acquainted with normal life. Right. But the moment you leave him home, mm. isolate him or her, make him feel like he's different, he's mm. unique, that's how the world will treat him. And that's even him, he will keep thinking, I am different. I even doubt my son knows that he's different. Mm. I think of recent, he has realized he doesn't have speech. Mm. I feel like now he's aware. Mm. But in other things, I don't think he even realizes he's a different child. Because mm. he has everything all other children do. We celebrate him like mm, normally. Yeah. You can't tell that he is until I tell you that he is what autistic. Is and it goes back to what she told me that mm. he will outgrow. He has outgrown so many things that because mm. of that, I have hope. That he will surely that outgrow. will show up. So he as, will be fine. As we conclude this, are there um, certain resources that you're aware of that someone out there who has an autistic child could know that? Uh, maybe there's this hospital, maybe mm. there's, there's a community mm. of parents that have had autistic children. Like, are there any resources out there today where someone who has, a parent who has an autistic child could go for help or mm. know that they're not alone in this journey so that we could share with someone watching? Okay, the mm. thing is, 10 years ago when we had just realized our son is autistic, it was hard. I said even to talk about it, people would ask what is autism and all that. But these days, there are so many support groups. The, the hospitals, mm. Chambogo University is in support, Makero University, Mulago mm. Center of Speech is in support. Then there are also very many private entities. So many people with autistic children have formed foundations and they are mm. providing support to those that cannot get that support. So many schools are becoming inclusive, especially international schools they can allow in an autistic child. Mm -hmm. Because you see that autistic, Einstein was autistic. Mm -hmm. People yeah. who did unique things were yeah. autistic. It's not like they are mad or they are not mm -hmm. understanding. It's just that they are extreme in a mm -hmm. given way. They're extremely bright. They're extremely attention to details. They're extremely sensitive to smell, things like mm -hmm. that. And those things are the ones that cause that anxiety that makes them, makes the, their behavior abnormal. Okay. Yeah, so the support is there, mm. you can get it, but the best support is you, your parents, the parents, mm. yes, the, yeah, that's sure. the best support, there is speech mm. therapy, or occupational therapy, and all the things, but all the things done and said, the best things that the experience he has, the things he knows, are the things I've done with him, the things mm. I've trained him to do, to do, the things we have allowed him to do in the home, like he's a good swimmer, mm. he loves music, he dresses very well. I am rolling him mm. up for modeling. For modeling. Yes. Also, just shortly, I wanted us to talk about briefly, like, 
one minute. Yes. What's the future like for him? Do you, how do you see him? Because it's important. Parents, you know, when you have an autistic child, you're telling yourself, ha, oh no. Ta in a future. Ta in a future. Yeah, mm. and I have met people who have told me that. Of course, mm. ignorantly. Yeah. Oh, you're ta oh, like, it looks mm. like he's in a future. Mm. But I want to tell you, he does have a future. Ahead of us, mm. there are children who have gone through it. Yes, that's Now amazing. I know. And I've mm. seen them. Some of them are doctors, are engineers. Mm. Because when they do something, they do it to their best. best. Now, when, you, when he learns something like swimming, mm. he will be an Olympic swimmer mm. because he concentrates, his concentration levels are way higher than a normal person. Mm. And his performance is always better. Mm. So, well, we are trying out so many things. He's such mm. a great swimmer. That's we nice. swim mm. almost every day. Mm. Olympics, we are coming. I mean. <laughs> yeah, then he has such a good stature. Physically, mm. he's very nice. Like I said, he was so cute. He's still so cute. cute. I'm going to put the photos. You'll see them. He's so cute. He's tall. He's smart. He dresses mm. very well. He likes nice things. He doesn't like ugly things. Ugly things he's sensitive to good shoes. Mm. He likes tucking in all the time. He tucks in everything. Think. So because of that, I felt like modeling would be a good catch. So we are rolling him into modeling at That's an early beautiful. stage. Mm. Yeah. So because there you don't need speech, you don't need books, you just yeah. need the looks and show up. And show up. Yeah, and sure. you, then you do, yeah, we are going mm. to do the Gucci, the Versace, then we get and paid. Sure. Yeah. So the future is bright. That's like nice. I earlier said, when the world gives you lemons, you, you make, make lemonade. lemonade. Yeah, so we are making lemonade. We are conquering mm. this really. Amen. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. What a journey. What a journey. But mm. we thank God for this amazing journey. Mm. And I hope that any parent out there who is raising an autistic child, be encouraged, be hopeful, and you will conquer the journey. Bye-bye. Till next time, Valeria Nasolo is my name. I have been your host at Clona Conversations. Mm.